so you used to do so am i correct in saying that you used to do um more realistic and then you moved to something else or do you do a smattering of different kinds of of um paintings yeah, that, uh, i was very realistic in the beginning um and yeah how do i explain that um as i said in the beginning my my um I love to make art, but my um, appreciation of and, and my the scope of what I knew about art history in the art world was was pretty narrow in, in art school that broadened for me. And I began to discover um, other artists. And actually, there, there was um, there was a time when I was uh, emotionally pretty uh, restricted. And that might have a, had something to do with the muted colors of, of the Dutch masters and and um, and I wanted to work on that and I found this Dutch woman actually who did Feldenkrais and Alexander technique and she started working on my body and she somehow released something emotion and suddenly along with the emotion I was painting in more brilliant color and I kind of that helped me shift into uh, impressionism and and uh, color and light that sort of something opened up in me and that reflected in the paintings also that was a huge a huge leap for me actually when people ask me who was your most influential teacher in new york i would say actually it was that dutch woman who, who um, worked on my body and um what do you mean worked on your body yeah right? but <laughs> well alexander and feldenkrais it's it's um it's about uh, manipulation working. I, uh, maybe I'm not explaining it correctly, but it's similar to Rolfing, I think, where you work on the soft tissues that hold emotion uh, and uh, help release things. And whatever she did with me, um, it worked. It's sort of like an example would be, you know, if your if your father terrorized you as a kid, you know, you're kind of walking around like this all the time, and someone starts massaging you and releasing this, and all of a sudden, you go, whoa. And uh, you're, I'm in a, emotionally in a different place now. Um, yeah. Wow! And it lasted. It wasn't just. No, it was. It was. <laughs> you know, it's almost like she, she manipulated an abnormal body stance out of my body and returned me to a more natural place, as I understand it. But suddenly there was, there was a lot more color and light, and um, and also I began to understand realistic painting, you know, painting reality. Um, um, yeah, there's a visual reality, but there's uh, the emotional reality, the, the reality of what I feel when I'm looking at something. Um, and I wanted that to be accurate as well. Um, so that uh, I, I would, even though some of my work, maybe you can see back here that that it mm -hmm. might look a bit abstract the landscapes um they're loose um but i always work from something i've seen something i've seen something realistic something that captures my attention and um, um and i i think i sort of hover on the edge of um, realism and abstraction there but there was a famous artist uh, who said um if i'm paraphrasing now um when you paint, you're putting colors down on the two-dimensional surface. It's always abstract. Every painting is an abstract painting. Yeah, my art's really abstract. <laughs> 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 I just need to charge a lot so people think it's great. I don't really know. I, I don't know anything about art, so when when um, I really don't. I like. I like. I. I think I do have uh, an eye for aesthetics and and uh, balance and just in general. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I will look at art sometimes and 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 go really a can and a fish and yeah. uh, you know on a block of wood or something and I, and and but then somebody like you probably could explain why it's actually brilliant like the Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. Explain to me why the Mona Lisa is such a big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I saw it in real life too. I'm just not getting it. What is well, there was a story about that. Oh yeah, the story was um, someone told me that there was a theft at the Louvre many, many, many years ago, and one of the paintings, or the only painting stolen, was the Mona Lisa. 
And uh, when it was finally returned, it got a lot of publicity. It was not so well known, but through that publicity of being stolen, it became a paint. It's like anything, it got media attention. It went viral. Mm. It went viral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess that, because art is, I mean, yeah, there's certain principles, right? But so much of it is really subjective, right? Like, sure. so I guess, you know, that does make sense of what, depending on what gets attention, when that becomes what is really popular, I would. Yeah, guess. it's like music, pop music. Um, the best songs get played so many times, you tend to fall in love with them because you hear them all the time. Yeah, that's true. Uh, repetition. It's kind of like advertising. Yeah. And, and you know, there's it's the, the, the top 40 and it's in the top five or it's number one. So it must be good. Um, yeah. So, you know, some of my favorite art are those 3D chalk drawing art where the, where you have to look at it from a certain angle. Right. That blows right. my mind. And yeah. like, I would go, yeah. that is better than the Mona Lisa. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> it looks like a hole in the ground. Like yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. 3D chalk and <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You've never seen that, Rena? Do you know what I'm talking about? I will send you links. Send me links. I, I mean, it's... will. <laughs> it's insane. Maybe, is it like outside? It's like yeah, outside you chalk? you you make them really long so mm. that the like a help sign like a help sign who puts help on a street like a stop sign on a street. The S is really long, the T is really long, the O is really long, so that when you're looking at it from an angle, it looks right. They do that with an entire picture, so it looks like a 3D something on the road, like or on the sidewalk. It looks perfect. It's amazing. There's a painting done by, I think it's Holbein, who was an English painter, I think 16th century, something like that. And it's these two men. And on the floor is this stretched out piece of white and you don't know what it is, but if you turn the canvas like this, it, the white gets short and then it's a skull. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's so that cool. was long ago. That was long ago he was playing with those. That is super yeah. cool. I love that. Uh, like It's kind of like forced perspective in movies. Um, mm -hmm. It's all about the angle and the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like that stuff. Um, I'm really into realistic stuff too myself. I, I like when something looks like a photograph that's so right, good, right. like, yeah. yeah.